Hey, Christian Hineke here. Content today is on uh, what it's like to make $20,000 a month or more. Um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, for, in case you haven't seen a lot of content from me, <clears throat> written or, or video, um, my wife and I, our family, is relatively new to this world of, of making a quarter million dollars a year or more. Um, and it's it's interesting what's uh, this is a train of thought. So yesterday was Valentine's Day, and we were out at a babysitter here, hanging out with the boys, and we were talking about plans and you know some of the things we want to do the next few months. My wife's birthday is coming up in April, and um, talking about what we're gonna do for that, and uh, our lease here at this great house um, in Central Texas is is up next month. So we're talking about you know what we might do, where we might go. Um, I'd really like to really like to go to some somewhere tropical, Puerto Rico or or Hawaii or Uruguay or Panama or <laughs> I don't know. Um, so talking about all this, and I and I said to my wife, <clears throat> "Is it funny to think about what we used to imagine making twenty thousand dollars a month would be like?" As recently as two years, three years ago. Um, we were glad if we made five grand in a month. And I remember etching out a, um, a list of bills and stuff and coming to the conclusion that, boy, if we could just somehow make $5,500 a month, every month, um, we'd have everything taken care of. All of our bills would be paid. And it just sounded like bliss, total bliss to have the idea that all the bills would be paid. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> now we had been really reckless with our resources. Not that we had a whole lot to be reckless with in the first place, but in the old days, in the old days for us would be prior to November of 2012. So prior to November 2012, generally, if we wanted something, we got it. And the way our, our minds worked, the value of money wasn't... Um, we never spent cash, almost never. And for anything big, it was always credit. And uh, I don't know why people would give us credit. <laughs> uh, it was so bad. This is years and years ago now, but um, uh, back, this is probably 10 years ago, but this gives me an idea of kind of the the context, I guess, of, of this video, where we're, where we're coming from and my thoughts here. But <clears throat> back in the day, I was um, consistent enough with income, a lower income, that you know we could go to a car dealership anywhere in town and apply for a loan, and usually we could get a loan and, and leave with a new car. Um, and we did that a lot. We have had a lot of cars over the years, and coming at great expense. I mean, ridiculous interest rates, and just my my whole train of thought was completely different. So. We would look at something like, um, we want to go on a trip, you know, we want to go to the coast or something. And the way we would make our decision is I would pull up our credit card accounts online. And if we had room on one of the cards or a couple of the cards, you know, room for the hotel room on one card and room for gas and food on another, I'd be like, yes, we're going. <laughs> and, uh, we lived that way and it was just you know, like this all the time. And it was all fake. <clears throat> um, we didn't see it though. We, we were just completely uneducated when it came to finances. But anyway, this idea of making a big income back in the day, if you had said, what would it be like, you think, to make $20,000 a month or more for a while? What would that be like? I probably would have said, oh, you could buy a car whenever you want. You know, if you wake up and it's sunny and you feel like buying a car, no big deal. You can pay cash like every three months for a new car if you want. <laughs> this is embarrassing to admit, by the way. <clears throat> um, uh, I would I would think things like um, you could travel, you know, if you feel like having lunch in Paris. Well, make it happen. Just do it. <laughs> Get on a plane. <laughs> Um, so it's pretty funny. It's pretty funny now that for the past 14 months, we've been there. Um, we've averaged 
over twenty thousand dollars a month, like literally five to eight thousand dollars a week for um over a year. And it's allowed us to repair a lot of damage from the past, get rid of almost all of our debt, all of our interest bearing debt, and almost all of our personal debts. Um and move forward in a way that's responsible for a change. So we've been able to budget um, and get a proper budget. We went through uh, Dave Ramsey's financial piece. Um, I want to do a big plug for that. Um, if you can relate at all to my old thinking of just kind of if there's room on a credit card, well, we can do it. You got to look up Dave Ramsey, look up financial peace and um, sign up for it get through it. It'll change your life. It changed our marriage, changed our finances, changed all kinds of stuff. It really impacted so many things. I didn't mean for this to be a big pitch about Dave Ramsey, but I manage even things like my time. I manage my time better because of it. So anyway, um, let me give you a specific example on, on budgeting. Um, we have envelopes for different funds. So for example, yesterday's Valentine's Day, we had the babysitter. We pay our babysitter out of an envelope that has cash in it. And we set out a budget, and part of the budget is babysitting. So we, you know, back 14, 15 months ago, we agreed on what would be reasonable amounts, likely amounts in each category, and we literally put cash in different envelopes. Well, so babysitting gets its allotment on the first of every month, just like every other envelope. So as we make plans throughout the week and throughout the month, we kind of keep an eye on how the funds are looking in different things. And once we run out of money in the babysitting envelope, there is no more babysitting to be had unless we can get somebody to do it for free <laughs> or in trade or something. It forces us to be creative. It forces us to live um, reasonably. Um, and it's been very good. It's been very good for us. Um, and it's allowed us to plan and, um, you know, be ready for for things for for instance washer and dryer appliances around the house stuff breaks right for most people i think the washing machine falling apart tomorrow would be a big problem for a lot of people for us we have an envelope for appliance repair or appliance replacement and it gets money every every month we haven't had any appliance issues since we started putting money in that envelope 15 months ago so when that emergency happens, it's covered. It's no big deal. If the alternator goes out on the truck, no big deal. It's covered. Um, really, the space we live in now is there's no such thing as, emer as an emergency because we took all those categories and we either have insurance or we're covered because of uh, an envelope. So anyway, <laughs> back to the topic, this, this whole idea of making $20,000 a month. Um, it is not at all what I imagined it would be. It is awesome. It is good. It's something to aspire to. Um, and uh, I'm, I'm expecting, I'm fully expecting to double our income this year. And as I sit here right now on February 15th, thinking about, oh, wow, making half a million dollars in a year, what would that be like? I'm in a much more centered, <laughs> level-headed place. And we have we already have specific things. Um, specific plans um, for the money, taxes included, and, you know, just considering the whole the whole picture. So anyway, I hope this content's interesting for you. Um, if, if you like kind of the raw, uncut um, um, style, I guess, that I, I bring, I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Um, you can check out some of my other videos. If you're interested in the business that, that we do, um, I'm a huge believer in list building and internet marketing, and I can show you a lot with... Uh, with that kind of thing. Um, I have a long-term plan that I bring to the table and um, I love collaborating at a high level with people. So if any of that resonates with you, reach out to me, message me, leave me a comment. Um, I'm also interested in comments from you if you're listening and you're making you know, a more modest income and you're aspiring to the big income. Um, tell me what you think. Tell me if you like the video or not. All right, take care.